He says, I'm writing this in 1 John 1 verse 4, so that your joy may be complete. <laughs> John never wrote in a way that would exclude us. When someone spoke from God, their, their message always included the audience wow. so that your joy may be complete. Yeah. He anticipated our joy. Paul says my mission statement is in, class, in Ephesians 3, 9, to make all men see, mm. to make all men see, so that all men may know the reality of this union. Sure. And this is the message of the gospel, you know, it's to bring people into a place where the oneness that God labored for in Christ mm. will be fully appreciated. Mm. Paul sits in prison and he has many reasons to feel disappointed and neglected and embarrassed. He says, I have learned the secret to be content in abundance, in lack, in mm. ill repute, gossip, slander, or praise. It makes no difference. He says, because nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Sure. Nothing can separate us. We are brought into a union that is inseparable that is eternal without interruption mm. if we engage into interruption mode thinking God says engage your thoughts mm. with throne room realities mm. do what David did in Psalm 116 remind yourself return to your rest oh my soul mm. for the Lord has dealt bountifully with me mm. we have a reference in God's bounty that cannot be challenged by mm. any size contradiction there is no contradiction in the eternal future that has what it takes to separate you for a brief moment from what God has united you to. In that day you will know that I'm in my Father and you are in me and I am in you. 